Hi all, Lex from Project Lex and today I'm going to show you how to change your fly screen. This one here is on my screen door. You can see here that there's some rips thanks to my 30 kilo dog and young kids. So yep, it uh, definitely needs a change and I'm actually going to put a uh, pet strength one on which basically is just a thicker and stronger fly screen than this uh, traditional one. To change the fly screen, you just want to grab a small screwdriver or something similar and that that's the twine in there that's holding it in place. So you want to find the end where it's separated and peel back and get out like that and then just pull it down and just pull it all the way down and around until the whole fly screen's off. Just get the screwdriver down. Now I can see a bit of build up of crap in here, so I'm just gonna open my door a little bit. So when I take the fly screen off, it's not gonna fly inside. So Pull it down. Oh, and I have the pet door here, so I am going to have to unscrew that and take that out. But if you don't have one of those, that'll just come right off. Lucky you. As well as changing the fly screen on this, I am going to be painting the door. Link up above to check that video out. So if you're not going to be painting the door and just replacing the fly screen, then you won't need to worry about taking it off the hinges but because I'm going to be painting it it's just easier if I take the whole door off. Just finished painting the screen door now I'm going to put the new fly screen on this particular one here is a pet mesh because of my dog it's uh, six times stronger they reckon than the uh, normal fiberglass fly screen so but if you don't have any animals that like to jump up and scratch your fly screen then you can just do the cheaper normal stuff that's fine so you got to measure your screen door and make sure you have at least two centimeters overhang on all sides of the door you can reuse your old spline if it's in good nick but if not i've got some new stuff here and this is 4.5 millimeter you can measure your old spline if you're replacing if you don't have old spline you just measure your channel that's where the spine's going to go, so measure the size in there and that'll let you know, give you a rough idea of what you need. Grab your spine, put it in one of the channel corners, just press it in with a screwdriver to start you off. Then we've got the spine roller. The spine goes in between, like this, see it's grooved. Goes in between and we'll roll along. So just do that all the way along. When I came to the door handle, it had too much fly screen I couldn't get through, so I just trimmed it away a little bit, which is fine, because now we're gonna grab a Stanley knife and cut along the fly screen at, in the channel here, like this, just gonna go in like this. And you can see that's come away there. So we're just going to continue that all the way around. And we'll just screw the door back on. All finished now. Happy with how it's turned out. Even sprayed the pet door, which is from the previous owners. My dog doesn't fit through there, but had to put it back on because they've cut the, a massive hole out of the door. But um, yeah, looks good. Thanks for watching.